All right, and because this is my YouTube channel and I can do whatever I want in my channel, I'm going to go through the wish, uh, the Sears Canadian Wish Book from Christmas 2003. I'm just going to kind of skim through it. Here's the first page there. Am I lined up good? Okay, it's very bright here with the sun coming through the window, but it makes the lighting look better. It goes through the wish book. You know, uh, the first chunk of it has the gift ideas, CD cases, tools. I think I have that tool. Flashlights with radios, or radios with flashlights, however you want to call it. 500 games in one. For like 10 bucks and it has like Tetris and all that type of stuff. Clock radios. You remember clock radios? golf game or putting game for like $25 a slinky I've gotten these things before like remote holder things but my remotes kind of still go over to the side so going in more gift e ideas Thermal cooling mat, like not the Snuggie, but although it kind of is a Snuggie. It's like a sleeping bag with arms. That's cool. Miniature trampoline. I got one of these for Christmas. Hurt my knee on it, I think. Black and white TV, so with analog, uh, with AM, FM, analog radio. So back in 2003, you could still get little black and white TVs. I don't even know if you can get that anymore. You can probably get it used, but I don't think they make that anymore. Cordless phones. A karaoke CD machine, probably. Or maybe you can broad a broadcast radio station built in the box. Not likely, but... I always wish for that, cause, you know, you know, like for like the movie, pump up the volume, have a pirate radio station. Okay, we're going to perfumes and stuff. I'm gonna skip this stuff here. Jewelry. I'm looking for the toys, watches. Winter gloves. Trying to make this quick because I remember my last video seemed to be a little bit longer than what I wanted it to be, so I'm just going to quickly go through this. You can always hit pause in the video. Just skipping a few pages here, just trying to get through. A lot of the stuff you can find on Wishbook Web, and I think there's people's Pinterest or whatever that site is, where they have uh, the um, uh, you can flip through a catalog. One of the ones I I uh, linked in my last video. It doesn't have all these Canadian wish books. I think it's a American website, but I think they had a few of the wish books. And if anyone who runs those sites is interested in this stuff, uh, or they need one of these, hey, I'll sell it. <laughs> Pay me shipping and a little fee for keeping it stored for like 20 years. Well, this one's not quite 20 years yet, but definitely over 15 years. So I'm just skipping through this. I'm obviously I'm going right to the toys. Beds and stuff. Housewares.
I'm just like grabbing a little bit of pages at a time. Furniture. Somebody said in one of the last videos, like, my, um, I saw somebody on YouTube doing a serious catalog video. It's like, my grandma has that chair. My grandma does have a chair kind of like that. Beanbag chairs. I still like beanbag chairs. And as I said in one of my in my satellite video, when I got a bunch of styrofoam, because yeah, the styrofoam is quite expensive to fill these things, just order a bunch of stuff off <laughs> off the internet, and then you should use the styrofoam to fill your beanbag chair. That's what I do. TV stands. See, and it's funny these things became like a few years later. This is two seventy nine. They became so obsolete so fast once they started coming out with the flat. Um, the flat screen TVs, which would be wider, or you'd have to get a smaller flat screen TV than the TV in in the in the stand. Some of these stands might have still fit, but they were pretty much built for the old four and two ratio TVs. So we're not really into TVs yet. We're for the. You can record to DVD. Oh, I hated this format. I never bought this format. The camera I'm using now is is, is like right to SD card, which I think is the best format for doing home video. So here's like TVs and stuff, and this is just before uh, HD TVs started coming out. So like they still had the floor projection HD TVs um, that were. Look at the price of this: five thousand four hundred ninety-nine ninety-nine. That's like crazy. And now they got uh, whoever bought this TV has to pay someone to take it away. Fifteen years, like more than fifteen years later. They used to, at this time, they started having TVs and they would say HD ready, but they still didn't, I don't know if they had the HDMI ports, because like I'm reading here, I don't see the actual HDMI uh, being offered on these TVs. So that was like a problem with people that were early adopters of, of HD TVs. They did not have that. They had the component input. But it, it actually, it would not be a 10, some of these TVs were not even 1080p TVs. They would be like a 720p TV. VCRs and DVD players. Now this one's cool because it has Super VHS ET. Not, isn't ET the extraterrestrial? But ET like, um, was a format that Super VHS ET, you can use standard Super VHS tapes and record Super VHS on a standard VHS tape. <clears throat> So I, I went into this a little bit on my last video. In this video, you're starting to see the DVD VHS combo players. Um, Panasonic had that as well. And uh, now some of these in the early days of the digital conversion had an ATSC tuner built into them, which would mean that you can watch you can watch like um, uh, scan in your digital over the air channels. I've seen a few VCRs like that, but most of the time, they don't even have tuners built into them anymore. And it goes through the DVD players. And the stereo equipment. $299.99 for this. DVD, and it's a DVD player with a home theater system. And they still had the turntables for $300, and this is like a turntable, cassette, and I think it might have had CDs. Uh, CD changer, yes, I had multi-CD changers in this one for $300, and it basically covered everything except for um, 8 tracks. But pr pretty much the last 50 years formats that were the most commonly used. Hey, psst, get out of the Christmas tree. Hey you! Get out of the tree! Bad cat! Naughty! 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 Okay. Back to the catalog. Sorry about that. Bo was being naughty. Naughty, naughty Bo. We got this turntable record players. I don't think these offered MP3 playback at this time. They came a few years later. Which would be like they have to. And then now you get one of these, you'd want Bluetooth and you'd want mp3 playback and a lot of them don't have the audio cassette 
That's like something that's harder to harder and harder to find these days. This, I like that. Go into this a little bit. This is a uh, Grundig uh, shortwave radio. My papa had one of those, and I love playing it. It had the crank on it. I do have like a red one of these where it has the um, shortwave. Uh, you can listen to shortwave, so you listen to radio stations from all over the world. And I think they have, oh yeah, they have some of the Grundig digital ones. This is kind of close to the one that I bought. No, maybe not, because it's $200. Uh, mine was about $100, but I, it was like one of the, the best $100 I ever spent was probably getting one of these shortwave uh, uh, radios that, uh, were, that had the digital tuners. Got a lot of use out of those. So there's CD player thingies. Oh yeah, the seat. Well, the CD Walkmans with the anti-skip, and then they started coming out. Probably, maybe not right at this time. Oh yeah, MP3 compatible. So they had the um, CD players that you can make an MP3 CD and make it like I don't know, a, you go a day without having to change a disc. I can't remember exactly how long it was, but something like that. And then the Sony audio cassettes. This format here, the mini disc. Never got one of these, but that was a a format they had. You got more clocks here. Start with Palm Software. These like look like early SD cards. A Palm headset. Is this where, like, I, I think this is like the earliest I've seen SD cards that would fit into like these Palm Pilot computer thingies. And cordless phones, you remember cordless phones? Like when people actually had landlines? I still have a landline. You'd attach this to your landline and, uh, you know, it'd be like having your cell phone but just for at home. One megapixel camera. So here we're getting into, this is like the dawn of digital uh, cameras. And uh, SLR cameras and all that. And then like this was a craze in the early 2000s and then toward the end of that decade with the smartphones, like cameras were just you know becoming part of your phone. <clears throat> But these are like a Christmas item for a hot item too for like a while. But they still have 35 millimeter cameras. Let me skip the page here because I like the video stuff. What's this here? CD camera. It's, oh, it's a printer. Okay. So, cameras are mini DV cameras. So this is kind of when uh, cameras start to go to the, which was a short-lived format. I mean, well, probably about 10 years, probably over 15, about 15 years. This is the DV and the, the mini DV and the digital eight format. I had a digital eight camera and uh, mine was a Sony. And then they also have the VHS C cameras and Super VHS camcorders, which uh, some people, I remember some people having that toward this era because Super VHS was they were trying to get rid of those just before the digital. Kind of like where camcorders are now, they're trying to get rid of all the HD camcorders because it's in that transition where camcorders um, they'll sell an HD camcorder the same pr same price of what a 4K camcorder is because. We're going through that transition period right now. So here is eight millimeters, because that was Sony's. Uh, was going with the uh, the eight millimeters, because that was their for format. And we had uh, digital uh, formats. 
and I think they had some of the CD cameras, or not CDs, but the, um, oh no, they had DVCs, and they also had the uh, 128 megabyte cards, which, these were a real pain in the butt, these Sony, before there was a standard, it was like uh, Sony had their own proprietary memory cards, which were really a pain to just, you know, when you wanted to buy an adapter for it, it was, it was an arm and a leg. Karaoke machines. Keyboards, guitars. Sewing machines, more guitars. Microwaves. Some tools, always a good tool for the job. And they always push the uh, fitness stuff after Christmas. Metal detectors and telescopes. More telescopes here, back here, just getting the page I just missed. Binoculars, night vision thing. Oh, yeah, that's another thing I forgot to mention in camcorders. They had those night vision infer green features. GT Snow Racer. And now we're starting to head into the toys. This is it like over the hill? Hill Barbie? Oh no, that's oh no, that's a uh, Happy Family. So one line I, I, I thought was kind of cool because I don't know if it's Loving Family or Happy Family, but they had like, they're kind of like the G.I. Joe size dollhouse stuff. So it's kind of cool. They'll fit in the G.I. Joe and Star Wars ships and all that. That's, that's fun. Now, since my daughter has this at Barbie Dreamhouse, I just wish the roof was kind of more flat <laughs> because it also, it, most of the time it ends up make, making a good shelf once it's not being used anymore. Uh, the toy video camera. Wireless video cam. Hmm. Oh, okay, because it goes to this thing. To a uh, VHS tape thingy. Which uh, is a bit of a throwback to the uh, Fisher Price audio cassette camera. I remember having one, or I wanted to get one of those. Care Bears. They're all going to give Grumpy a Care Bear stare. Woo! Mickey and Minnie Mouse. <clears throat> Winnie the Pooh themed stuff. Costumes. Dora the Explorer. More of the kid, little kids' toys. This is like the post era where they've. There's like the loving family dollhouse. There's def... I don't see this uh, line anymore. I thought it was a cool. That, as I say, I thought that's this was a cool line. I, my uh, kids have a few of these. And uh, as I said, I, just, I like the fact that they're bendable, the size of a GI Joe, and they could fit in those things. And they just had the one dollhouse though. How much was the full dollhouse? Eighty nine ninety nine with it has the baby and the kitchen set and all that. So it doesn't have the full furniture though.
train set things, which would be like about $149.99 for like a whole train set table, build your own type deal. I don't know if that comes with the tracks, but tents, tents. Hey, yeah, we had a tent similar to this. Bouncy castle. These are interesting sleeping bags. They don't have a tong tong that you can crawl into. The ride on car toys. And parents, I just think, you know, you want to burn your kids' energy off? Don't get them one of these things. Get them a bicycle. Get them something that'll burn their energy when when they're uh, while, while you're out. Moon shoes. I remember the commercials for that. Are these like the uh, what are they called? The Pixter and the Lazy Laser Doddle. Hmm. Some Tonka wooden toys. The Corilla thing. The, this is a Connects. Connects Super Amusement Park. That seems pretty cool. Takes takes some time to set that up on Christmas Day. Is this uh, this is Lego. Thought it was Playmobil. Yeah, more Lego stuff here. Transformers or something Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and these look like G.I. Joe. It doesn't say G.I. Joe though. Ultra. Some of these remote control thingies. And always the remote control trucks with the big tires. They're like usually the best because they drive on carpet and drive outside over grass and stuff. So you, they're usually the better ones. And then when you get like a speedy car like that, it's good if you're on a flat surface. But in the reality of where a kid's going to play, I go with one of those things. Remote control helicopters. Remote control boats. Yeah, there's the fire boat. That's kind of similar to what I had. Like 40 bucks. I got one year for Christmas. And it was like, it had like a little water gun thing that it took water from the bot where the water was and sprayed it out. And that was the one I used to drive out and lose it and have to get a rowboat and go get it. This one looks like you almost put like action figures in it. Car racetrack sets. Always do fun at fun for Christmas Day. The novelty wears out, but it's fun for Christmas Day. Fisher Price tape recorder with the tape. Walkie talkie cell phones, back when cell phones look like that. Some of the TV games, the TV before the Wii, they Wii Fit Board, they had this thing, the weight, this skateboarding thing for like an eight-bit bit looking game that you hooked to your TV. And here's your board games, Twister and Operation, all those type games. Your table hockey, and your foosball, your robot boxing thing. And more pool table stuff and air hockey. And dolls, and that's the end of it. One thing I noticed that I was kind of surprised with this wish book, I didn't see any video games in here. I didn't see any PlayStation or um, Nintendo stuff. Uh, 
for 2003. Maybe they just decided it wasn't a video game year. That was like the thing though in the wish book. It always like it had like you know like 20 pages of or not 20 but maybe 10 pages of video game type stuff. Like I saw a few of the plug and play into the TV, but not really that cheap. Never seen this toy. That's cool. Remote control skidoo player. Oh, it's almost big enough for that kid to ride on. Are you looking for a satellite dish, a satellite receiver, or a actuator, or a satellite meter, or an LMB, or any satellite products for your free-to-air setup? Go to tech2000.com. Look at their wide variety of merchandise of many free-to-air satellite products that will soothe your satellite needs. If you like free-to-air TV hobbyists and satellite communications, check out the free-to-air satellite TV hobbyist and satellite communications on Facebook and like it and follow for updates on free-to-air satellite stuff. Please like, share, and subscribe and... Check out my Facebook page, Robbie Strikes Videos, and share the videos there with all of your friends.